This video will cover the topic, factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient greater than 1. Before we begin, it's important that we understand how to factor quadratics with leading coefficients of 1. The standard quadratic expression is written as ax squared plus bx plus c. Remember that when factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient 1, the leading coefficient can be ignored because a equals 1. And 1 times x squared can just be read as x squared. If you need a refresher in this material, please review the factoring a quadratic with leading coefficient 1 topic. Okay, but what if a isn't equal to 1? If the leading coefficient a is not 1, we must take into account all of the coefficients in the equation, not just the b and c coefficients. To determine what factors multiply to ax squared plus bx plus c, we must first multiply the a and c coefficients to determine what factors of the product ac add up to the b coefficient. We can make a chart like this to keep track of our numbers. Let's take a look at the following problem. 8y squared minus 14y plus 5. Looking at this problem, we can identify that a equals 8, b equals negative 14, and c equals 5. If we multiply a times c, we're multiplying 8 times 5, obtaining a product of 40. We can now put this number in the top part of our chart. We have identified b as negative 14, so we can put this in the bottom part of our chart. Our next step is to make a list of pairs of factors of 40. From these factors of 40, we have to decide which ones add up to our b value, negative 14. We can see that the factors of ac that add up to negative 14 are negative 4 and negative 10, so we can input these numbers into our chart. Next, we can use these factors to rewrite our original quadratic. We rewrite this expression as 8y squared minus 4y minus 10y plus 5 using these factors that we determined to put into the middle of the expression. Next, we can group the first two terms together and the second two terms together and find greatest common factors for both of the groups. 8y squared and negative 4y squared have a common factor of 4y, so we can rewrite this as 4y times 2y minus 1. 10y and 5 have a greatest common factor of negative 5, so we can rewrite this as negative 5 times 2y minus 1. How do you know that negative 10y and 5 have a common factor of negative 5 instead of positive 5? We must make sure that these two quantities in parentheses are the same. If we had pulled out a 5, we would have 5 times negative 2y plus 1. And this quantity, negative 2y plus 1, is not the same as the quantity we had determined before, 2y minus 1. We must pull out factors with signs that make the quantities match. Now that we have factored our groups so that each of them have a common quantity, 2y minus 1, we know that this will be one of our factors. Next, we take the two numbers we pulled out to determine our second factor. In this case, we got a positive 4y and a negative 5. So our two factors are 2y minus 1 and 4y minus 5. That was a lot of steps though. How do we know we didn't make any mistakes? To check our work, we can multiply our two factors together and make sure that we get the original quadratic expression we were given. Using the FOIL method, we'll multiply 2y times 4y to get 8y squared, then multiply 2y times negative 5 to get negative 10y. Next, we'll multiply negative 1 times 4y to get negative 4y, and finally multiply negative 1 times negative 5 to get positive 5. When we multiply our factors together, we get 8y squared minus 10y minus 4y plus 5. When we combine like terms and simplify, we get 8y squared minus 14y plus 5, which is the same as our original quadratic expression that was given. This tells us that we've done our factorization correctly.